Hello. We have one longer story today of outrageous entitlement. I don't normally read stories about infidelity, but this one is an exception. It's about everything that happens years later. You might even think it's a love story. Two brothers fall for the same woman in a twist of fate. It's all so very Shakespearean. But like any good Shakespeare play, there's always a mix of tragedy with the drama. And there's nothing more tragic than how one brother tries to mend the bridge years later. Story 1 I, 39-year-old male, have been a caretaker for my brother, Justin, 33-year-old male, since he was 10. I was only 16 when our parents died. I had to take care of the household because my brother was still very little. I did everything for him. He was the apple of my eye. I guess I spoiled him a lot. I never dated that much because I was the breadwinner for my brother. That is until I met Melissa, 35-year-old female. It was almost 10 years ago. We dated for two years. It was great. My brother loved her. One day, I was eavesdropping a conversation she was having with her friend. The gist of that conversation was something like, her friend was asking about me. Melissa said that she loves me a lot. She loves that I take care of her in every way. But I am pretty average when it comes to getting intimate. Her friend asked her if she is going to talk to me about it or if she is happy. She told her that her solution is my brother. She went on to explain how she and Justin have been having an affair for eight months. She thinks it is justified because she thinks Justin is better in bed than I am. You can imagine how painful it was for me. I went inside the house pretending I didn't hear a thing. I confronted Justin about it. I know how to get him to talk. I pressed this matter after he was denying it. He eventually broke down and said it was the truth. He didn't say anything because he didn't want to hurt me. He and Melissa are in love and wanted to get married, but Melissa won't leave me. I was furious. I wanted to break him with my hands, but I just told him he is dead to me and left. I also kicked out Melissa and she stayed with my brother and his roommates. My brother was banging on my door nonstop. I had to move in with a friend and told everyone to not disclose my location to my brother. His calls and emails were all the same, that he was sorry and he never wanted to hurt me and he will break up. I stopped the bank account, something like a trust fund that I had made for him that he can access when he is 25. He was not my brother anymore. I went into deep depression. I didn't eat or sleep properly. I would have nightmares of my brother and ex laughing at me that I suck in bed. That if I was good enough, she would have never left me. Luckily, my friends saved me. I do not have much friends, but they were my rock. I stayed with them for a year. I went to therapy. I did group sessions. I had a lot of anxiety regarding intimacy, so I didn't date for a long time. My friend encouraged me to try. I did try a one-night stand once, but it was bad for both of us. I still go to therapy to this day, but other aspects of my life have improved. I focused more on building new relationships with new people. I went to travel and explore more hobbies. I was living for myself. I am in a relationship with someone for three years now. We are engaged and we are having a kid together. Wendy, 32-year-old female, is a really nice person. She knows all about my insecurities and problems that I face because of my brother. She was mature and patient with me. I was able to trust someone enough to be in a relationship. Two days ago, I got an invitation in my mail about a wedding. And as the title says, it was from my brother. He has kept tabs on me from afar and invited me to his wedding with none other than Melissa. Looking at their names doesn't hurt that much now. I feel numb to it. If it was eight years ago, I would have had a meltdown. I still feel this pain that I cannot be happy for my brother's big day. My fiance suggested that we shouldn't go and delete the invite. In the comments, Scrumptious Nutsatchel said, I wouldn't have been as strong as you men. I'm in shock and inner rage of the heartless people who hurt you. OP replied, There is nothing more I want than to watch them suffer. I have no love or blessing left for him. When my parents died, they told me to look after him. And then when we are adult, we will look after each other. He threw it all away. It doesn't hurt that Melissa cheated. It hurts more that my own brother has cheated me. Update one. Hello guys. I was thinking about making an update soon. I know people in Reddit really like updates, but I delayed it because I have a baby girl now. When I posted this, my fiance, now wife, was already eight and a half months pregnant. We had an early delivery. My baby girl, Emily, is so cute. She is a little bundle of joy for both of us. 
She is so tiny and cute. She has eyes just like mine. I cannot believe we made something so precious. I spent so much time holding her. My wife gets mad because she thinks I am going to coddle her to death. Also, my fiancé and I got married pretty quickly. It was a court marriage. Neither of us wanted a big wedding anyway. We are all fine. Some of you asked me how my brother knew my address. Well, he didn't. He only knew my email, my work email. He probably knows what company I go to, so from there, he tracked down my email and sent an invitation. A few days ago, I get another email from my brother. I have forgot to block him. I usually don't check my work email because most of them are forwarded in Slack. My brother sent a huge, massive email. He basically told me he knows I will not come to his wedding but still wanted me there for his big day. He apologized for what he has done and that he would never forgive himself for doing wrong. He knew he shouldn't have slept with Melissa, but he did it anyway. Growing up, he had been jealous of me. He was jealous that I am the more capable brother who was just babysitting him. When Melissa approached him, he felt like he had more importance. He knew he was wrong. He wanted to stop. The day I said he was dead to me, he had a panic attack. He tried his best to contact me, but my friends refused to give up my location. He was begging them. He and Melissa split up for a while. He was desperate to find me. He hit rock bottom when he heard from a friend of his how much I was struggling. Even his friends judged him harshly after what he had done. His friends saw me as a big brother too. So they all refused to be at his wedding with Melissa. Melissa and he reconciled two years ago. By that time, Melissa was a single mom. She feels guilty about what she has done because the father of her child has cheated on her and left her. She also wanted to meet me and say sorry. From there, they rekindled their romance. Lastly, he said he cannot go through with the wedding. He called it off and he fought with Melissa and they broke up again. He wants me to be with him in his most important day. He knows I have disowned him, but he is willing to do anything to reconcile, even if it takes him his whole life. That's it. There was a bunch of whining stuff that I ignored. I deleted the email. My therapist said, forgiveness isn't something that is forced. It comes from subconscious level when we know we can forgive that person. And it should be an option only when someone shows that they are sorry by their actions and not by their words. Honestly, I don't want to. I know I am being petty and cruel, but I am happy the way my life is. Adding him will cause stress. My wife told me to forget it. My brother is not guilty at all. As soon as I forgive him, he would go back to Melissa. He needs to figure out his life on his own. I have babied him enough. Now it is his turn to be an adult. Edit. People are asking me about my brother's life, so I want to be clear. I do not have any idea what he has been doing with his life. I moved away from my place further from him. I transferred my job too. He must have known my place of work from where he got the email. For 10 years of my life, I pretended he doesn't exist along with therapy. I treated him like he was someone dead. I don't know what went down with him and Melissa, but from his email, I can paint a picture that they broke up after dating for a few years. His friends were unhappy with him dating this woman, and they decided to drop the wedding because of Melissa. My brother told me he doesn't want to get married unless I am there to support him. That could be anyone, doesn't have to be Melissa. Why Melissa came back, I don't know. Maybe she thought I would accept her like a doormat, but she knows me better than that. I am stubborn when it comes to holding a grudge. I didn't know I had an impact on his friends so much. They were good people who would hang out with us. Though they were younger, they treated me like their own brother. I did get apologies from two of his friends who never had a positive male role model after I blocked my brother. I don't have any contact with them. OP added in the comments. If he truly regretted this, he wouldn't have decided to marry Melissa, the woman who destroyed my life along with my brother. What did he think? I will forget all the pain and trauma they have caused me? Forgiveness doesn't set you free, it creates a different trap. Over the years, I have learned forgiveness is a tool made by cowards who just want to get away with their wrongdoings without facing any consequences. They think having forgiveness removes the toll of guilt they have. True forgiveness is never forced, it is earned. He still has done nothing to earn that. In the comments, Lizioti said, Hey bro, I know you disowned me because I had an affair with your partner, but I want to reconcile. And I think the best way to do that is for you to come to my wedding to your ex that helped me destroy you. Seems like a solid idea. Seabork said, I am envisioning OP reading the long email, 
getting to the end of it, then doing a little click-click-delete and heading home to his wife and daughter and enjoying life. Actually, a very moving description of forgiveness, too. Hope he is a very mature guy. Kaisahot replied, I don't understand why people think forgiveness has to be part of healing. <laughs> the first comment was the best and totally reflects what OP said about his brother not regretting anything. Nothing says I regret everything like driving that knife further into his brother's back, am I right? And Melissa comes around after she gets cheated on and becomes a single mom? Shocking. This story is like a wholesome dose of what goes around comes around. And karma is clearly like the breeze in OP's hair on the weekend. It's a relaxing thought. Sweet like honey. Name that artist. And that's it for today. Until next time, shine bright, Starlight. Yahoo! If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Thanks, and bye for now.